am a video confidence coach, and here are five things I would never do. Number one, I would never follow a proven system or blueprint or guru's method without adding my own personal style. I love systems, but if I don't add my own style, it falls flat. Number two, I would not wait until I figured it all out before I shared the challenge I'm going through. It's pretty common knowledge that you're supposed to wait until you've figured out this big obstacle before you share it because otherwise it looks like you're weak. But I've discovered if you share with your audience the journey you're going through, you make a lot more authentic connections. Number three, I would never wait until I had the perfect equipment to start doing videos. Too many people wait until they have the perfect lighting, the perfect sound, another mic, a better phone or camera. But not only are most of the best videos done just on a phone with nothing else, but you're wasting so much time waiting. Confidence on video is not about the right stuff. Unfortunately, I wish it was. Then we could just buy confidence. You're already ready. Number four, I would never wait until I look better to record a video. Okay, this is a hard one because it's not really true. I have waited, but any time I have thought, oh, I have this important thing to get out, but I don't, my hair doesn't look good. And I don't have makeup on. I don't have the right clothing. I'm just not put together. That video just doesn't get done. So I'm practicing what I preach. I didn't put on any makeup and I'm a little bit of a mess, but you know, I have to get this content out finally. Number five, I would never expect my videos to sell. I didn't say I didn't expect my videos to make me money, but the videos don't sell. I sell because of the videos. These are the things I teach my clients and I do try to practice what I preach. Will any of these ideas help you stop doing something with your videos and start building your business with videos?